Polidor Fans Online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Wednesday, November 13th. The relief effort finally picking up in the Philippines. There are more than 2,000 confirmed deaths from Typhoon Haiyan. The number is expected to go much higher. Two Americans are now confirmed to be among the dead. Disease is a growing concern. Survivors so desperate for water, they are straining it through their T-shirts. And President Bill Clinton is now urging changes to Obamacare, saying people should be allowed to keep the health insurance that they currently have. An ABC News an analysis of Obama's administration documents suggests that fewer than 50,000 people have been able to enroll through the problem-plagued website. But in contrast, an estimated 7 million-plus Americans are getting cancellation notices. The American Heart Association revising guidelines for cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. It says one-third of all Americans should be on the medication. Critics worry, however, this will lead to overtreatment. A Boston Cardiologist says Americans should focus on diet and lifestyle changes rather than more prescription drugs. And speaking of dietary changes, a public elementary school in New York City is dumping the burgers, chicken nuggets, and other usual cafeteria fare for an all vegetarian menu. And it seems to be working. Since the switch, the school claims to have fewer overweight or obese students, higher test scores, and even better attendance. Hmm. I'm kind of That's surprised. That's very surprising. You know what, though? Kids don't miss what they don't have. I tell you what, I like the pizza and the grilled cheese. Right. I never liked the cheeseburgers in the cafeteria, so maybe they're happy they're gone. Don't you that remember? They were kind of nasty. And if it's tasty food, they're going to eat it no matter what. That's true. All right, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Choose ABC News, America's number one news source.